Joe, I want to talk with you for a few minutes about a book that you wrote called The Revolution Will Not Be Televised. Tell us about this book. Well, it's basically it, it sort of the uh, the Dean campaign, and it's about all this things, all these things that changed. I mean, how the internet, how we took on the establishment of the Democratic Party, um, how we got clobbered by it <laughs> at the, towards the end of the campaign uh, when they really, you know, when they realized they had to kill us or or we were gonna, you know, or we were gonna upturn the the party, but it, overturn the party, but. A lot of what I said, I mean, the subtitle of that book was Democracy, the Internet, and the Overthrow of Everything. Um, and I meant it at the time. And now you see what happens in the Arab Spring. I mean, it was all this has been fueled by this uh, capacity for the bottom, um, uh, using social media to communicate with, it, with each other and, and uh, you know, demand change if it's in a country where there's a tyrant or a dictator. Um, or um, like I said, with the, the Clintons thought they had a lock on the Democratic Party. They, the, by all rights, they did. She was the first lady. He was the president. It turned out, no. Some guy from Chicago with a funny name became president. So okay. it, a lot of the things that I wrote in that book, and you know, I re rewrote parts of it for later editions that came out, at, that in, sort of included Obama's uh, ascendancy in, in it. Um, uh, but a lot of what I wrote turned out to come come true. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, and I still think we're just at the infant stages of this. I mean, journalism's changing. The way TV works is changing. I mean, a few years from now, I'm not sure we'll know whether you're watching it on a TV or or, or your cell phone. I mean, right. is it television or is it the internet? I mean, we'll, we'll, uh, so everything. It's it's very disruptive. It's changing our politics. It's changing the institutions of the country. It's changing. Um, even, like I said, things like journalism and, and clearly um, the top, uh, particularly uh, governments uh, in the Middle East and elsewhere are having trouble dealing with the fact that the people have that kind of power to communicate with each other. Um, and that's going to change too. Uh, so the same old, same old is not going to work much uh, as, as well uh, for them as they, as they hope they could by just holding on to power. So I think everything's going to change. Mm -hmm. And I think um, and I think the Republican Party will change. I mean, it's, I mean, even our party institutions, both parties will be changed because there'll be a deeper connection with the rank and file with people on the street mm -hmm. in terms of what they, they want their party to be about. And uh, I think we're also seeing that in the Republican Party, uh, some of the fighting that's, that's going on. Um, a lot of the people at the top can't control can't shut down um, and just make people follow them as much as uh, they could in the past. So, uh, and the Democrats sort of avoided all that because of Obama, but I think the Republicans are, it's going to be very interesting. I'm really mm -hmm. uh, interested in seeing how this all plays out. Yeah, it's very, very hard to predict, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, let's talk about Howard Dean for just a moment. Do you think there's any chance of him ever running for president again? Uh, he's a young guy uh, in relative terms. I mean, for people who run for president, uh, I, I, I wouldn't be shocked, but I just don't see it. I don't think he'll do it, but, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, we could all wake up and <laughs> find out he's, he, he's going to run. I, I just, uh, I've never heard him talk about it again. I mean, mm -hmm. about going again. Uh, but he's, obviously, he's been very active and, uh, and is out there and very outspoken. So it wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if, under, if the right circumstances, I mean, if he thought the party establishment wasn't, you know, was not listening uh, yeah. to the grassroots, uh, yeah, I could see him. Uh, it, but it'd have to be something like that. I think mm -hmm. it'd have to be him thinking there's no one else that's uh, going to take a stand against the establishment if he thought they were going down the wrong direction, like some, which is what happened before. If the entire most of the Democratic establishment was for the war in Iraq in 2004. The reason he ran, or one of the big reasons he ran, one of the big reasons I worked for him, um, was because he was one of the only candidates running on our side that was opposed to the war in Iraq. Um, and I think the reason we all did it was to stop, was, again, if there had been other candidates, if the entire party advanced against the war in Iraq, I'm not sure we would have run or the Dean campaign even would have happen but mm -hmm. uh, so I, yeah I think if there's something like that some inequity or something he might but I don't think he's not angling for it he's right. not doesn't spend every minute thinking about how he's gonna run for president <laughs> right. that's not Howard Dean okay now 
would you be his campaign manager if he ran? No. <laughs> you wouldn't do it again. I don't you want to be enough. anybody's campaign manager. I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind being some sage, uh, gray-haired advisor to, <laughs> you know, that can show up every once in a while, right on mm -hmm. the plane with the candidate. But I'm not. I, I'm. I'm like getting up to young man's game, young person's mm -hmm. game, and mm -hmm. I'm not. Uh, I. I can't say that I don't love it. I'm mm -hmm. just saying I just don't, it, but man, it, it takes so much out of you. It really does. I've probably taken 20 years off my, <laughs> my life by doing all those uh, presidential campaigns. I can imagine. Actually, I can't even imagine everything you went through, but you look great, so you, you survived it. <laughs> oh, thanks, yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back after these messages, so don't go away.